welcome to another exciting episode of the Million Dollar Peddlers. I'm Paper Goy. And I'm Mr. Magazine. And it is Saturday Bolo Day. Be on the lookout. This is highlights of what's sold in the past week on eBay with a bit of a deep dive into them, telling you what they are, why they are, why you should buy them, when you yeah. can find them. And Mr. Magazine, why don't you take it away? Because right. I need to take a breath. <laughs> Finally. Well, this doesn't look like much, at least to me, but uh, it did sell for 36 bucks. Monsterville number one comic. I uh, didn't realize it's an actual one shot by Dell Publishing, 1962. One for 36 bucks. Looks to me in clean condition. Is that a comic? No, it's a magazine. Okay. Is it? That's yeah, it's a magazine. Because I was going to say, it did not look okay. like a comic cover on it. Yeah. yeah. There you go. And he said one shot mag, so yeah. yeah. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, very cool. But yeah, I mean, it doesn't look like much, but if you see it out there, I mean, even in lesser conditions, it's got to be worth 10, 20 bucks. Yeah, you would think yeah. so. And I've never seen that before, yeah. ever. Yeah, very ever. Cool. Yeah. I'm sure you want it now. I, I do. I want to hear about this later. All right, well, we're in Rochester, we're near Buffalo, and guess who's hot again this time of year? The Buffalo Bills. Well, the box says, let's go Buffalo. I'm, I'm not in agreement with that, but anyways, <laughs> these are fisher Price little people. I think these are some type of local exclusive they do with Wegmans and, you know, maybe in New York State or something like that, but um, they're hot as a pistol. This is last year's model or set, selling for 90 They just had a new one come out and selling for like 80 bucks as well. So if you see these anywhere in stores, definitely scarf them up. Nice. Now, do you think that they do them for other... Um... Yeah, I think they did other teams, probably regionally or something okay. like that. Yeah, so sure. you would think any team is probably going to be pretty good because they're limited? Yeah, I would say so, definitely, sure. Nice. All right, next up, um, does anyone sell receipts on eBay? This is a lot of Don Mattingly Yankees restaurant receipts. Oh, wow. Receipts, Getting um, into my world. Yep, a lot of four receipts, $28.78. I can't argue with that. It was part of the Mattingly collection, but again... It all adds up, and you know, another at twenty-eight bucks just for a few. So he had people. a restaurant. Yeah, it didn't last too long. I think it was in New York City somewhere. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. You couldn't you couldn't do a good souffle. I don't think so. No. Oh wow. Uh, Sad. Struck out. Yeah, struck out. Oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> all right. Next up, I don't know what this is, but it sold for ninety-four <laughs> bucks. It's a two thousand one Animal Instincts Part Two oh. DVD. Uh, it's sealed, so maybe someone's going to grade it. I have no idea. Um, it took about a year to sell, but uh, again, ninety-four bucks. I guess the, the that's crazy. Yeah. I guess I guess the lesson is when you do see sealed DVDs and VHS out there, yeah. if you can get them cheap, pick them up. Unless they're yeah, like yeah, absolutely, the, yeah. And this looks to be it's in a plastic case, so it's a little different too. So anything that stands out that's different, you know, if you can get it cheap, why not take a chance with it? Oh, I wonder. Can you click on that again? Is that like a horror movie of some kind? Uh, animal, yeah. Well, no, I think it's like a B movie, but it's part two. Okay, yeah. there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, exactly. Wow. All right, next up, uh, vintage 1987 Mattel Barbie, perfume pretty Barbie Whitney, um, sealed in box. Box looks a little Ooh. beat up, but still 98 bucks. I can't argue with that. And we just sold an auction, so yeah, it must be a tough one. But, you know, again, it's different. If, you, if it, something looks different and you can get it cheap, take a shot. Well, and I got five bids on it, which I guess I know a lot of people don't like doing auctions, and they ask us why we do them. Right. That's why we do them right there. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously, you tend to start your auctions at what you think is a fair price. Right. So you probably started it at eighty dollars or seventy-five dollars or something like that, based on comps, sure. yeah, yeah. and it ended up going for ninety-eight dollars. You just right. never know. And that difference right there of the money, the extra money that you made off that one item. Mm -hmm. pays for everything that you started at auction for the entire month yeah absolutely and sure. the second item that sells at auction you're you're in yeah. the plus versus sure. not having started at an yeah. auction yeah. so i think that's probably why we do that yep. and last for me i think i've had these before but uh vogue magazine may uh well may 1st 1923 new york times inside and paul mall ads must be but um again you, know, you don't want to say mezzerella or whatever uh, it is? Well, I was going to say casserole because I'm getting hungry, but it's a mezzerole or something like that. So, but it's sold for 229 bucks, and you know, condition's not too bad. You know, got some crease in there and stuff. Good ads inside. There's your palm oil. And again, if you see it, any older bulbs would be good. Even if you're talking 40s, 50s, and 60s, I would still pick them up. Well, and if you're talking there back in the 20s, obviously now, now when you see a dealer that's got them on their table and they want 40 bucks each. Yeah. You can buy it. I mean, they sure. don't fly off the shelf, and certainly I would try to say, hey, look, you got you know eight of them. How about if I give you $200 for all eight of them? You'll probably right. ask for 250 yeah. But that still leaves you room 
because you sell one of those eight and you're just about out of the whole deal yeah. at that point. Yeah. So sure. hopefully that does help you out there when you're out there. Um, now, I did this on our IG, so definitely do check it out at, at Million Dollar Peddlers over on Instagram. Um, anything, Ed Wood always sells. Mm -hmm. Cult movies, uh, number 11, 1994 magazine, Ed Wood, Bella Lugosi, mm -hmm. uh, Harry Novak, <laughs> Barry, I can't read that far, Mahone, and Valda Hansen. Uh, but $32.00. I'm sure Ed Wood is probably what sold it. Uh, his things always sell. There, there are a lot of cult people. Well, obviously it's called cult movies. Yeah. So that's sure. all that you Makes need sense. to know right there. Um, but anytime you see something uh, in print that features Ed Wood, definitely do print it off. I was going to say anytime you see anything Ed Wood, I wouldn't necessarily run out and buy the movies. Um, <laughs> but certainly anything in print discussing him, you will be able to sell it very, very quickly. And again, $32, and I listed it earlier this year. Um, the next item, the next item really surprised me that it took this long to sell. It took two years to sell. I, I listed it in 2020. And I yeah. want your opinion, Mr. Magazine, if you're surprised it took so okay. long or not. Doctor Who Buffalo Who Fest 1984 mm -hmm. Souvenir Program New York Who Fest Convention. I can't say who. Well, I can't say who fest often enough. Yeah, I am shocked because the Buffalo Wing Fest one probably just sold for more than that. So, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And quicker. Um, now, are you surprised, though, that that's yeah. a... Yeah, because it's regional, and I would think that Doctor Who stuff would sell, you know, sure. yeah. how many of those could possibly be out there at this point? Yeah, no. Not very many at all. Um, that being said, I think I paid a dollar for it. So nice. I, I guess I'm willing to wait two years to get a $40 yeah. return on a $1 purchase. Nice. Um, I probably could have... I, I guess, though, this raises a question. Mm -hmm. If I had priced it at $20, would it have sold any quicker? I would say so. You think I so? I think so, yeah. All right. So yeah. I could have probably sold it quicker for 20 but I ended up getting the full 40 out of it, which I'm happy with. Okay. Yeah. Um, next item we actually saw on the live show. We have a feature on there called Item of the Week. So stop on by at 7.30 p.m. Eastern every Wednesday uh, in order to see the live show. And either Mr. Magazine or I will bring an item uh, to talk about, to educate everybody about. And this was the item. Hans Bavarian style brew beer label, U permit, 1933 to 1935, Johnstown, PA, uh, Goner, 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 Goner. Yeah, uh, sure. It did get the bid for $38. Somebody did make me an offer of like $10 on it. And I'm like, yes. look, I, you know, I have comps that tell me this goes for more than $30. Yeah. I'm not going to take a $10 offer on it. So right. I didn't say anything. I just declined yeah, the offer. Right. And then somebody wanted an auction. And uh, one of the highlights of the show was when I brought this up to you and asked you what you thought about it, and you said, "Why didn't you throw this out?" Um, it does <laughs> well, it have like some. Someone threw it on, and you just took it out of the garden. That, that is true. That is actually more accurate as to what you said. Um, <laughs> but it's missing a piece there on the bottom bottom corner, as you can see. Now, I, I did you know note missing small pieces around borders, especially on bottom left fold across. But to get thirty eight dollars for something like that that I paid less than a dollar for out of some dealer's junk box. I mean, literally, he just had peeper stuff yeah, in there it's not very big right i uh, no, no it was it was from a beer bottle so yep, yeah wow. beer bottle size Good for you. so definitely do stop by the live show we we try to teach you a little bit over there as well uh the next item i, I knew was good when i saw it yamaha world may 1967 and i looked at it and it said the green hornet is still at large and i said i bet that's either the name of a motorcycle yeah. or it's the actor and yeah. so i looked inside and it's the actor van williams um, I think I got $28 off or something or other like that on there. Now, it, and that even seems low to be honest with you. you know, like, I could see that selling for 50 but I don't know how long you had it up. But. Uh, not very long at all, but there it is. I don't know if you were able to see it on here or not. It does have a stain throughout. I did note it on her stain throughout. So it's not in great shape. It looks a lot better in a picture than it really is. I shouldn't say that. It looks better in picture than you're really going to get. Uh, inside, he looks like the black and white hornet. <laughs> exactly. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, it's got a stain on it. But again, 28 bucks, I'm happy with that. I paid a dollar for it. So cannot yes, argue yeah. with that at all and sold it fairly, fairly quickly. Next item, Guide of the American, the, the, mm -hmm. yep, wow. because Guide of the American, the, the, huh. great band, Philippines, hardcover, <laughs> 1899 book, fold out maps. All right. So maybe I need to proofread. Um, the guy kept making me offer after offer after offer when it was at auction. I think he offered me 100, and then 120, then 135, then 150. Finally, he said, would you take 180 on it? And I said, look, it's got one day left on auction. 
if it does not sell, I will take 180 on it. He said, great. Did not sell at auction. I took the $180 on it. Um, so I had it up for seven days, and he bought it right after it got relisted. I'm happy to sell that. Question. Yes. Because I don't do the offers in auction. Mm-hmm. Can you make unlimited offers in auction? Or five. Still, it's still, still five. Still five. And then, then can you get ten once it's in the You can get store? five more once it goes oh, in the store because okay. it's a new item. Yep. Oh, that's good. Okay. Yep, Very it's cool. a new item number. Um, yep, so he ended up uh, paying the $180 on it. Um, it does have maps in it. It's fragile. Uh, the maps are, but they're still intact. Hmm. And I was not able to find any on searches anywhere, which is why I priced it at $234. I just said, eh, it's got to be a couple hundred dollar yeah. book. Now, this is where we've changed in the, uh, over the years. The old days, I would have been happy getting $100 out of it because I paid a couple of bucks for it. I said, no, this is a difficult book to find. And I put the $234 on it. I ended up getting 180 I basically set the market on it. And now... If you happen to find this out there, which you probably aren't because there are not a lot of them out there, but if you're able to find this out there, I have the only you know listed sale. So now now the market is $180 on it. Just to mm. let you know, you can take it and list off of that as well. Market has been established. You're welcome, right? Exactly. That's exactly what I was waiting for. <laughs> yeah. Um, Whoa. Earl Covey story, hardcover DJ, 1964, first edition, signed by Francis Alden, uh, Cowie, uh, Adirondacks. So... This book was sitting at a flea market, and it's somebody that I buy from all the time. And I just kind of make a big pile of stuff, and they give me a price. And they set up every week, and they've got stuff out there that's all been picked through many, many times over. So this has been picked through. This was left. Only reason I bought the book was because I'm making the pile, and I know they don't charge me very much. They charge me 50 cents an item, something rather like that. I said, ah, 50 cents, hardcover dust jacket. And I did open it up, and I did see the signature inside. And I said, all right, that's got to be a 10 to $15 book anyway. Yeah. So I get home, and I look it up, and there was one on a books for $224. Wow. And that's the only one up there. So then I went on eBay, and one sold for $25, one sold for $100, Hmm. And then there's a couple listed at, or one listed at the 225 or 250 dollars. I listed it at 324 uh, for auction. Person made me an offer of 100. I counted at 200. They made me an offer of 150. I took the 150. Hmm. Um, sold it in like three days. Nice. Paid 50 cents. Sold it for 150 dollars in three days. With the market out there being, it's 100 to. $250 book, something yeah. other like that. So very happy to move that kind of thing. But always look inside the books because, again, the main reason I bought this was because it was signed. Um, just felt like the kind of book that you're going to find signed, and sure enough, it was. Yeah. Did the signature add anything to it? Probably not. I think it's just a low-print run book is what I think it is. And finally, a Collier's, a Collier's magazine, May 6, 1950, Ray Bradbury, oh. There Will Come, uh, Soft Rains, Joe Lewis. Uh, did sell for $121. Took a year to do so. Uh, this was another uh, item that we featured on, on our IG, so you definitely want to be checking that out if you're over there. Um, and again, table of contents. I, I showed the table of contents, and then I also showed uh, Joe Lewis, I believe. <laughs> so I didn't even show the story from Ray Bradbury. Uh, but I believe that's a first uh, of that story, and that's why it's worth $120. And again, I did a little bit of research around, saw what some of the other uh, Colliers were with uh, Ray Bradbury, and I priced mine accordingly. Nice. So you can definitely find this title out there. Now you have one to look for when you're out there, and people usually ask a dollar to two dollars on it. I'm sure I think I paid two dollars and fifty cents for this or something other like that. Obviously, didn't know yeah. it was worth that yeah, kind of money. I would probably walk by that. Yeah, not now. I know. You know. You know what else you would do now? Hit the like button. You would hit the like yeah, button. Good. So uh, do comment down below if anything on here kind of strikes your fancy, and do hit the like button, and we will see you next video. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs>